Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2009 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Bill Hickey. Yeah. And presenter is Mr. Rod McKenzie. Bill Hickey is a graduate of Davis High School. After college, and in 1958, 1959, Bill started up the wrestling program at El Dorado High School in Placerville. Bill was one of the founding fathers of high school wrestling in the Sacramento area. At that time, El Dorado High School Wrestling was one of the about eight programs in the Sacramento region. Bill's team won numerous league championships, and many of his wrestlers placed in a Northern California Invitational Tournament. One of Bill's best wrestlers was Steve Niles who went on to win a California Community College State Championship for Sacramento City College in 1966. This was Sacramento City College's first state champ. In 1969, Bill moved on to coach Sacramento City College and spent the next 24 years as a head wrestling coach. At Sacramento City College, his record was 155 wins, 69 losses, and two ties. Bill's three best teams at Sacramento City College were in 1980, 1981, and 1982, when they had won three consecutive conference championships. Bill then stepped down and assisted with the program until his retirement from Sacramento City College in 1992. Bill still teaches boating, boat safety, and fishing on the Rogue River for the middle school steelheaders. Most importantly, Bill is listed in the National Wrestling Hall of Fame for having over 200 wins in his career, both high school and college. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2009 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Bill Hickey. Well, as they say in the NFL, I'm on the clock. <laughs> and in thinking about what to say at an occasion like this, you dwell on it, think about it, and never write sure what you're gonna do. To begin with, the last time I wore one of these my daughter got married 24 years ago. <laughs> I thought the next time I'd wear one when I'd be in the box. <laughs> this sure as hell is a better experience than that. <laughs> I've had the opportunity with a lot of the people here in this room to share a lot of experiences as far as winning, losing, talking to you over the mat, good and bad. And it's been an experience that I wouldn't have passed if I had to do anything else. Now one thing I think that I'm probably the only wrestling coach in the late 60s when I was at El Dorado High School that won two tournaments on one day. <laughs> Here's what happened. At that time we had a novice tournament. Those were the kids that hadn't placed in the league tournament and then we had the varsity kids that had placed in the league tournament and didn't qualify for the novice tournament. So. We're hosting the novice tournament at El Dorado High School, so who am I gonna to get to take those other kids to the Bella Vista Invitational? My wife. I'd like her to stand up, Lou Hickey. Now she came back up the hill about six o'clock at night, leaning on the horn with those older kids and they'd won the Bella Vista Invitational, I'd won the Novice Tournament, two championships in one day. Now how many of you can say your wife ever won a championship? <laughs> I had my son Michael wrestle for me at both the high school and the college level, and that's an experience for both of us. I think he might want to have passed on that, but I didn't. With that in mind, I have a saying in, in uh, Grants Pass, I do a lot of fishing out of a drift boat. How many here are fishermen? Raise a hand. How many know what a drift boat is? Okay, I row a drift boat probably once a week on the Rogue River. Six hours on those oars is my workout program. <laughs> and we do pretty well on steelhead. The salmon fishing has really gone in the toilet. Not very good. Now, when you leave somebody, a lot of people will say, have a nice day. I have a saying, tight lines and blue skies. And I say that to this group, tight lines and blue skies. Once again, Mr. Bill Hickey.
and I even had time left on the clock. 